Hello, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm going to be creating 10 cards with Spellbinder's April card kit. This one is called Sincerely Yours. And as always, I'm going to show you what the contents are before we start in on the creating. I'm going to just pull everything out of the box. And let's start with the contents page. This tells you everything that's inside this box. It's always filled with tons of crafty goodies. And then on the flip side, it shows you how to use the dies. And I was so excited about the dies this time because it makes this cute little envelope and some flowers. So let's open up the paper pattern paper pack. You get two of each design, and it's lightweight paper. I love that yellow ledger piece. There's a lot of florals this time. They're all just very spring-like and colorful. I just love it. Some patterns even have some gold foiling on them. Like this piece here. Isn't that pretty? I love the blue hearts. I always use a lot of pattern paper when I play with these kits. And then it takes you back to the beginning. So if you want to make two of each card, you certainly could. You get 10 card bases and 10 envelopes. Here is your foam adhesive and double-sided adhesive. This is a packet of teal sequins. Next, I'll show you the stamp set. This one was really fun to play with. You get this darling little coffee mug with flowers growing out of it. And then you get all of these options that you can stamp on the coffee mug. It's so much fun. And here is the packet of dies. I loved these this time. I'm going to be using these a lot. But you get this die that cuts out an envelope. Little envelopes with flowers springing out of them are all the rage these days, it seems like. And now you get to make your own with these dies. And here are a bunch of daisies and leaves and stems. I'll pick these up with my Spellbinders Magnet diamond. I like to store them on this while I'm creating. The kit includes two packs of stickers. These are dimensional stickers and then some puffy sentiment stickers. I really like the sentiments on these are really cute. And then here is the pack of die cut shapes. I'm just going to quickly show you what they look like. I'll just speed this up so it doesn't take all day. They give you so many that this could take a really long time to show you everything. So I'm going to speed it up. And just start pulling them out of the pile. As always, you get lots of sentiments and greenery and flowers. Just a wide variety of shapes. I like to lay all of these out on a poster board on the floor next to me so that I can see all of them and I don't have to dig through the box to find them. Let's put these aside for a minute and I'm going to show you the cardstock. So you get a pretty green this time. I love that dark green and a light green, blue, pink, purple, bright yellow. This is kind of a hot pink. You always get a gold oiled sheet and a navy blue. On card number one, we're going to play with these daisy die cuts. I went ahead and cut them out off camera and we're going to make a little bouquet with these. I'm using an A2 sized panel behind it just so I can gauge where I want this bouquet to go. I'm not going to glue it down to the panel, but I am going to glue all the flowers together. So it's going to be its own little piece. <laughs> the centers that you can die cut have cute little dot details on them. You could, of course, cut everything out with just white paper and color it in, but I wanted to use the cardstock that came in the kit. And everything came from the kit except for this white paper. I pulled this out of a previous card kit. I keep all of the card kits from my past kits. And then if I need a different color, I can just pull from that. So there are the centers, aren't those darling? And then I'm just going to start gluing the stems onto them. I like it when they include stems. 
And then I'll glue the little petals together so that they are all one piece. And then I'm just going to slowly keep adding to this until it gets to the size and shape I like. I'm going to start adding the leaves behind these flowers. And I'm trying to make them so that they meet at one point because I want to eventually tie a bow around the stems and the leaves. I cut out a lot more die cuts than I used on this card, but I just kept them for another card. I like to have all of my die cutting done so I can just start putting the card together. I'll put one more flower here up at the top. And then this little bouquet is done. I'll just add a few stems behind it. I'm going to use this pretty blue piece of patterned paper behind my flowers. I love the little hearts on it. I cut it a little bit smaller than my white card base. And then this is just going to be glued down flat. So I'm going to flip it over and add little dabs of glue behind all of the flowers. And as you see there, I already tied a bow around the stems. I found it to be a lot easier gluing the flowers together rather than gluing them down onto the panel first. Maybe because you can lift it up and turn it and add things to the front and the back. But it was just easier for me to do it this way. And then I can just glue it down onto this blue pattern paper. Isn't that cute? I chose a sentiment from the die cut shapes. This says thank you and I added some foam squares behind it to pop it up. It kind of matches the centers of these daisies so I thought it went well. For a finishing touch I'm adding enamel dots around this panel just to add some lightness and airiness to it. I haven't used my Nouveau drops for a long time so I thought I should pull them out and start using these up. And that's all there is to card number one. I made sure to put this card up somewhere where I wouldn't set something on it and smush my enamel dots. But here's a close-up look. I didn't decorate the insides of my cards this time, but I can always go back and do that a little bit later. This next card is my favorite. It's very simple, but I had a lot of fun putting this one together. I'm using a piece of white cardstock, and I'm going to score it at every half inch. This is just going to add a fun texture to it and a little more interest to this design. I'm trying to score it really deeply, so I go over each line twice. I'll speed this up. And then it just has this fun wood panel look to it. I'm going to mat this panel with a piece of the hot pink cardstock from the kit. It almost looks red on the camera, but it is a bright pink. It's so pretty. I'll put that down on my card base first. Then I can put my white panel next. All of my die cuts are going to be popped up with foam squares. As well as this cute sentiment that just says friends. I liked how colorful it was. So that's going to go right in the center of the card. And then these flowers are just going to tumble down across this panel. I just put foam adhesive on the very centers of these flowers so that I could kind of tuck them under each other. And some of this colored cardstock comes from previous kits. I really have a lot of cardstock left over as well as patterned paper. I fuss with this a little bit even after I finish this card. I moved these flowers around. But if you go over to my blog, you can st see still shots of all of these cards. I cut out the centers with white cardstock. I'll use the same center, it's the largest round one, for each of these flowers. This is a very simple card. It's going to be fun to send out to someone. And that's all there is to this one. I didn't add any sequins or anything. I just wanted to keep it super simple. 
And here is a close-up look. You could even add a sub-sentiment to it. I think that would be cute. For card number three, I'm going to use the envelope dies. I love these. <laughs> We're going to make a fun dimensional card with these. So I chose the piece of pattern paper that has the postage stamps on it. I love this one. And I'll center this on my white card base. There is a little bit of the white card base showing. And then I cut out the top flap twice, once with white and once with this pink so I could put a liner on it. This is a pretty fast and simple card as well. Next, I'm going to use some of the double-sided adhesive and put it on the edges of the bottom part of this envelope. You could, of course, just use glue. I'm using the bone folder to press them down so that the edges are nice and crisp. And there's two pieces to bend on each side. And this makes it pretty dimensional. The score tape is just wide enough to fit on the inside edge. You can use your scissors to trim that, but after this initial time of cutting it with the scissors, I figure out that you can just rip it quite easily. I think this die set alone is just worth the price of the kit. However, everything inside the kit is just darling. So let's put this last strip of tape down. So let's attach this to our card panel. I'm going to put the bottom piece down first. I'll just take the release paper off with my all-in-one tool. This is just handy to do that. I have a hard time peeling off release paper. So I'll move the flap around just to get an idea of where I want to put this envelope. And I decided to put it kind of on an angle. So I'm going to put the bottom down first. I'll get the flap out of the way. I'll press that down really good so it sticks. And then I'm going to put some dot liner behind the flap of the envelope and it just tucks inside. Then you could just press that down flat. Now to make this super easy, I'm going to use one of these dimensional stickers. There are some beautiful bouquets in this set, stickers. And I'm just trying to decide which one I want to use. Doesn't that look pretty coming out of the envelope? So I'm just going to kind of tuck it inside a little bit. Then just press that into place. Very easy and fun. The sentiment is a die cut shape and it says lovely day. I'm just going to adhere this down flat and then I'll put a little flower next to it. The last thing I do to this card is add a few of the teal sequins around this panel. And that's all there is to it. Here's a close-up look. Oh, I actually did decorate the inside of this one, I forgot. <laughs> On card number four, I went for this darling piece of faux wood pattern paper. I'm going to tie a little bit of baker's twine around this tag and tie a bow at the top. So off camera, I stamped out the coffee mug with the flowers and colored it in with some colored pencils. I fussy cut this out. I even cut out the inside of the mug handle with a pen knife, which was kind of hard to do. <laughs> I'm not good at doing that. So let's put down our pattern paper first. And again, this is going to be a little bit smaller than my card base. I really like that pop of white around the edges. The tag is going to go down flat with more dot liner. Just trying to gauge where to put that. 
I'm going to pop up the coffee mug with some foam adhesive. I have a lot of leftover foam adhesive from past kits. So you'll probably see me using more than my share <laughs> this time. I've already picked out some cute die cut shapes to put around this card. These little yellow flowers, one I'll put down flat. Oh, as well as some of the greenery behind it. I'm going to tuck one more leaf behind this yellow flower. The glue I'm using is new to the Spellbinders shop. It's called Precision Craft Glue, and I really like the thin tip on it. I popped up my second flower with a foam square, but the greenery all adhered down flat. This flower is going to overlap onto the coffee mug a little bit. But I am going to glue down one more leaf behind this. And then I love the little sunshine. It could be a flower too, but I saw it more as a sunshine. I'm going to pop this up with some foam squares. The last thing I do to this card is add a few sequins, and here's a close-up look. That coffee mug was really fast and fun to color in. Playing with the daisy die cuts again. I cut a lot more out from white cardstock and added yellow centers. And I'm just going to glue these down flat all over this, this check pattern. I'll cut off the overhang with a pair of long, sharp scissors. I cut out a square with white cardstock using Becca Fecan's Elegant Twist dies. You can see it there at the right. This will be a frame for one of the dimensional stickers. But let's go ahead and adhere down our pattern. I end up putting another daisy at the top right of this card. It just looked a little too empty, but I do that off camera. And now for the dimensional sticker. This one I really liked because it says, For My Forever Friend. We'll put this down on the white cardstock. I felt that the white cardstock enables you to see the sentiment a little bit better. I popped it up with some foam adhesive, and then I'll just center this at the top of the card. I'm adding some Wink of Stella to the centers of these daisies to add a little bit of sparkle. And then I am going to put another sentiment underneath the frame. And I'll pop this up with more foam adhesive. This says, Love Always. This added a nice bright pop of color as well. And here is a close-up look. You can see the daisy there at the top right. I think I put it a little bit too close to the other daisy, but that's all right. I still like how it turned out. For card number six, I'm going to put together another bouquet using the dies from the card kit. I also used those hemp stitch dies to cut out a white rectangle. I'm going to start out by stamping out one of the sentiments. This one says, happiness blooms from within. And then I can start building my little bouquet on top of this. This is going to be a simple, small bouquet. Maybe you wouldn't even call it a bouquet, just a little trio of flowers. I'm attaching several of these flower die cuts together just to add some interest and color to them. These were really fun to play with. You can put together all sorts of pretty flowers. I'm using some of the navy cardstock on these flowers, and I really liked that little touch of navy. I'm also using some of the hot pink cardstock just to tie it in with the hot pink card panel I'm going to be gluing down. The rest of these die cuts, besides the navy, were left over from previous cards, and it was just nice to use those up. Let's adhere down the pink cardstock onto the white card base next. 
And again, I'm going to leave a little bit of white around the edge to mat this. It helps tie in the white panel as well. I use some foam adhesive to pop up this panel. This is kind of a low dimensional foam adhesive. This is from Arteza and I just had this in my stash. And then we can start building our flowers. I'm using one foam square behind each. This way, again, I can tuck things behind it easier. And I cut out the greenery with gold as well as green. And all of the greenery, I'm just gluing down flat. We'll put the gold pieces down first. I want to leave a little bit of space around my sentiment because it is so small. I don't want that to get lost in all of these flowers. I'll put down the last gold leaf. I cut out a bunch of smaller leaves with the green cardstock, and I'm going to add these around this arrangement just to add some fullness to it. And this will help kind of wrap around the sentiment as well. I'm adding quite a few to this panel, but I think these little touches add quite a lot to this arrangement. The last thing I'm going to do to this card is add some more Nouveau Drops. This one is a particular favorite of mine. These are called Dream Drops. It's called Gold Lux, and it's just a soft, pale gold. They're so pretty. I add them to the centers of these flowers as well, at least to two of them. <laughs> Once I'm done adding these, I like to smack it pretty hard on the lid of the Nouveau Drops just to flatten out the dots a little bit. And here's a close-up look at the finished card. This sentiment makes it kind of a note card that you can send out anytime. Card number seven is going to be super simple, but I think this is one of my favorites as well. I just love this pretty green cardstock that they put in the kit this time. I'm putting that down first. I'm going to use a die cut shape. This is a gold frame. And I'll put some foam strips behind this to pop it up. I like making little windows with these. These are some pre cut strips from Doris. I use them a lot. I used to cut my own strips out of thicker uh, foam adhesive strips, and I hated doing that. <laughs> Once I found these, it made my life so much easier. I'll adhere it down onto a piece of the bright yellow cardstock. It's just a cute little window, dimensional window. Let's glue this down flat next. I love these trees. I'm putting some foam strips behind them to pop them up inside the frame. I put the foam adhesive at the very tip of this tree and then kind of at the bottom so that it will fit over the edge of this frame. And then this second tree, I put more foam adhesive on one side and liquid adhesive on the other so that it's the same height as the frame. Next, we'll put the second little sunshine down. This van I popped up with some foam adhesive but I'm going to adhere my sentiment down flat and it just says good times. This is another non-occasion card you can just send out whenever. <laughs> Let's put the van down next. I'm also going to add a few flowers around the trunks of the trees. I just needed a little pop of color and I'll put some foam squares behind these. This just adds a lot, this little pop of color. I'm going to move this pink one over by the other tree. And then they're all the same height. I'd have liked to have made up two of these cards, but I used both of the tree die cut shapes on this card. Let's put this little blue flower in place. And that's all there is to this card. I didn't add any sequins. I thought the golden frame was enough bling for this card. 
This card just looks like summer to me. Moving on to card number eight. We're going to use this cute ledger pattern paper. And I cut it down a little bit smaller than my card base. I stamped out the sentiment that says, Hello, darling friend, on this. I'm going to mat it with this piece of blue cardstock. And we'll put the blue cardstock down first. I'm leaving quite a large white margin around this card. The yellow ledger paper I'm going to put down at an angle. And then I have a bunch of die cut shapes. There are stamps and envelopes and a pen and letters. And I'm just going to do a collage down this card. Let's put down the little paper clip first. I thought that looked so cute. The uh, mailbox, I'm going to add some foam adhesive behind it. And I want all of these pieces to be touching. I'm just trying to figure out where to put my main focal piece, which is this mailbox. The stamp I'm going to glue down flat. I'll just tuck this behind the mailbox. Next, I have a cute envelope. I'm going to have that covering the side of the mailbox, and then I'll put a little foam square behind it to keep it propped up. I propped up the pen with a piece of the foam strip adhesive. Here's another cute stamp I'll put at the bottom. And then this envelope is going down flat. To add some sparkle, I added some sequins. And that's all there is to card number eight. On to card number nine. I'm going to play with the envelope dies again. First, I'm stamping out the sentiment that says, Love you a bunch. And I'll use a very small Spellbinders circle die to cut this out. This sentiment is going to work as a seal on my envelope. So I'll die cut this out. So the sentiment will be all ready to go. I went ahead and cut out the envelope with some dark pink and light pink cardstock. This time I'm going to make it so it's not so dimensional. I'll add the double sided adhesive to the inside tab just under the score line on the bottom as well as the sides. And then I'm going to cut off the tab under that. And this will just give a little bit of dimension to this envelope. I'm going to line it with this light pink cardstock. I like to have liners on these envelopes. They just look cute. I went ahead and cut out my flowers with purple cardstock. And those are ready to go. But let's cut off these tabs. If you want your envelope to be really flat, you could just cut off both and glue it down to your card. I'm using another piece of cute pattern paper. This is the pink plaid. And then I can start adhering the envelope to this panel. I'll use my all-in-one tool again to pull off the release paper. I'll give the corners a little press so that they stick together, and this will help me adhere it down flat onto the pattern paper. This one is going to go down straight, and if I could do this one over, I would have put the envelope a little bit lower. My flowers are going to be popping over the edge of the top flap, and it just gets to be a little bit too high, but it still turns out cute. So let's adhere the flap of this envelope down next. And I can just tuck it inside. It's so easy to put together. Next, we're going to adhere this cute rainbow. I love the colors on this rainbow. It's very non-traditional. <laughs> the sentiment, I'll pop up with another foam piece. And this time, to add a little bit of shading to the envelope, I'm using a very dark pink Copic marker. And I'll just put a little bit of shading 
on the crease of this envelope. This touch really adds a lot to the card, I think. Now I can start adding the flowers and all of the greenery. I'll put the leaves down first, coming out the sides of the envelope. And I'll put one in the very center. Kind of covers up the rainbow, but you still see peaks of it. All of the greenery is going to go down flat. And then the flowers, I popped up the heads with a foam square. But the stems I'm gluing down flat with some liquid adhesive. This just gives it a little touch of dimension as well. I really like the look of this bright pink envelope and then having the soft purple daisies popping out of it. And then I do add a few water droplet beads to this panel. Water droplets and flowers just go hand in hand. I think they look so beautiful together. And here's a close-up look at card number nine. For my last card, I'm going to play with the coffee mug again. This time I just want to stamp out the coffee mug. And I want to mask off the flowers because I'm going to use another dimensional sticker, one of the floral arrangements. I do want the stems to show, so I didn't mask off the, the stems to the flowers. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of very fast and easy Copic coloring. I pulled out my neutral grays. I'm putting down my lightest gray first, just at the edges of the mug and under the lip of the mug. Then I go in with a darker shade of gray. This will make the mug look white with a little bit of shading. I went ahead and fussy cut this out off camera. This time I just left the inside of the handle intact. <laughs> it was too hard the first time. But before I fussy cut it, I am going to stamp out the sentiment that says, Have a lovely day. So this could be used as a birthday card or again just as an all occasion card. I do stamp it out several times to get a nice dark black color. And now to put this card together, I'm using this beautiful floral pattern paper. Such a pretty blue and I love the pops of pink and yellow and white. I'll use another tag from the die cut shapes and I'm going to add some blue and white baker's twine to this. I'll push it through the front of the tag and then I'm going to tie a bow at the top. Once I'm done fussing with this bow, I'll cut off the ends. Kind of blends into the paper, but I think it's a pretty touch. I'll adhere this down flat. And I'm going to put this on the front of the card at kind of an angle. The mug I'll put on the card so it is straight up and down. And that's going to go down flat as well. The thing that adds dimension to this card is this little floral... 3D sticker. I'm going to add another foam square to this sticker just to add a little more sturdiness to it. So the last thing I did was to add some teal sequins and this card is finished. I hope you enjoyed seeing these cards come together. I had so much fun creating them. As always, I'll have the links in the description box below as well as over at my blog. Have a fun crafty day everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.